It's me, Jack, live in the Monkey House, and we're going to do it. We're going to play a round of our game, Correctamundo, the game where every answer is... Wait for it. Eh, correct. That's right. At least we think so. Uh, so far, so good. Every single round we've played of our game, Correctamundo, has led to a champion who not only gets to brag to their friends and family about getting three answers correct, they also get to pick the next song that we play. But will our next contestants have what it takes? And I say contestants because there are three of them. And bonus, they come from the state of Massachusetts. Oh boy, I can't wait to play this round. Let's welcome to the game. Joining us all the way from the newly minted state of Massachusetts, say hello, we Bucky Dots, to Lion, Noel, and Everly. <laughs> In perfect unison. Hello, Lion, Noel, and Everly. How's it going? Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's perfect unison. Do you always answer every question all together in the exact same way? Uh, not really. No. Oh, yeah. It's starting to fall apart. Okay, good. Phew. That would be an amazing uh, uh, call break, though, if somehow, like, three people were able to say every word in perfect unison over the course of a whole call. That would be amazing, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, you're back on track. You're doing great. Now, Lion, Noel, and Everly, first of all, did you know that your state has recently been renamed Massachusetts? Massachusetts? No. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the name, Massachusetts. It's a very flavorful place. I've got three questions for you three, and each one has to do with your state food, which is cheese. But before we start, I gotta know, are you all gonna answer every question or are you gonna take turns one person per question? What do you think? We're gonna take like, turns? Yeah, yeah we're um, gonna But can I tell you one thing? We're also first time callers, long time listeners. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That means after you play the game and after you hear your uh, song, if you manage to crush the competition and beat this game, you get to go straight to your kitchen in Massachusetts and pick out your very own spatulas. That's right, audience. They each get their very own spatula prize. Very exciting. But first, Lion, Noel, and Everly, we are lowering you down now into the high anxiety chamber where there are th three chairs side by side. And I'm going to ask each of you one of the three questions. Who's going first? Lion. Uh, lion. Me. Lion is... I'm going first. Okay, great. Lion, you're going to take this one away. As I said, I've got three questions for you. And since you three are from Massachusetts, every one of these questions is going to be about cheese. Question number one. Lion, what is the best kind of cheese? <laughs> String cheese. Interesting. Wow, you just came right out of the gate and said that. Why? Why do you think string cheese is the best? Um, because when I eat it, I like to pull. I like to pull strings off of it, and it's satisfying. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, so, uh, satisfying like one of those one of those internet videos where you see people perfectly cut a slice of cake into equal eighths, like yeah. perfect. Is it that kind of satisfaction when you pull the strings off a of string cheese? Yeah. Can you, uh, listen, we're going to turn this over to the audience and let them evaluate your answer, but just uh, for my purposes, before I do that, can you make the sound that you would make to show that you're satisfied? What does that sound like? Oh, that was nice. That was sort of, yeah, was that uh, like a sigh? Like a, ah, is that what I just heard, Lion? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very good. <laughs> okay. I mean, that was a sigh of satisfaction if I've ever heard one. Let's go to the audience. Audience, Alliance says the number one cheese is string cheese. Show us string cheese. Okay. Uh, that is correct. That's the number one, Lion. You're on the board with one point, and that means we're moving on to our second answerer. Who's answering the, the second question, Noel or Everly? Um, Noel. He was Noel. Noel, it's time for the second cheese-facing question. Uh, and somehow, Lion just knew that I was going to be asking about string cheese for my second question. That's so funny. Noel, when you eat string cheese, do you pull the strings apart and eat it slowly in a satisfying way? Or do you just take a bite off the top? 
Uh, kind of like you're biting the head off a snake. <laughs> Noel, how do you eat straight cheese? I just eat it fully, and sometimes I eat it on top of. I see. Wow, okay, so you do it both ways. If I gave you this piece of string cheese right now, and you took your first bite, would you peel it, or would you just take a big old bite? I would just take a big bite. Okay, like the head a off a snake. <laughs> big bite. <laughs> Audience, show us big bite of string cheese. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very good. You, you all are really from Massachusetts. I mean, you are cheese experts. Nicely done, Noel. You got your crew to two points. But that means, Everly, this is the make it or break it crossroads in our game. You could stop now, keep that string cheese, and eat it however you want. Or you could risk it and go for the third and final question. Everly, what are you going to do here? Third question. Uh, third question. Say third question. Third question. Let's all say third question all together. You guys ready? On a count of three. One, two, three. Third question! Oh, it just feels right. All right, Everly, question number three. You're from Massachusetts. Your whole crew's from Massachusetts. My question for you, what is the best cheese cracker? If you were going to eat an orange cracker that is in the shape or, or the flavor of cheese, which is your favorite cheesy cracker, Everly? Interesting. So you're from Massachusetts. Or, excuse me. Oh, let's strike that from the record. <laughs> you're from Massachusetts. Your whole family loves cheese. And your favorite cheese cracker is Cheez-Its, Everly? Is that your final answer? Yeah. Audience, show us Cheez-Its for the win! Yeah! Oh, this was an especially cheesy round of our game. Congratulations, Everly, Noel, Lion. You just won our game, Correct Mundo. Uh, and dare I say, it's time to collect your cheese. What song would you like to hear here in the winner's circle? Cats it on you. Cats it on you. Great. Uh, wait, is, it, is that true? Do cats sit on me? Yes. Yes. They sat okay. on me. They sat oh, on they... me, too. Wow, okay. Uh, we still are trying to figure out who let the dogs out, but at least now we know who cats sit on. Audience, put your paws together one more time for Lion, Noel, and Everly in M Massachusetts. <laughs> oh, boy, I slipped there. You heard me say it, right? I, ugh, I called it by its former name, Massachusetts. Oh, I can't believe I said it again. It's Massachusetts. Say it with me, everyone. Massachusetts. Hey.